There's been a lot of discussion about that R number, the number of people an infected person passes the disease to. In the government press conference today, they put R between 0 0.7 and 1. That's slightly higher than it was last week. But have a look at this. Cambridge University has estimated the R number for each region in the country. Now, R rates are typically expressed as a range. We're showing you the average of that range here. As you can see, the R rate in London is now by far the lowest of all the English regions. With the exception of the Midlands, every other region has an R over 0 0.7. As you can see, the North East and Yorkshire there are faring the worst. This matters because once you factor in the range, some of those figures are edging close to one. And once the R rate is above one, the disease would be spreading rather than receding. The number of daily infections tells a similar story. There's again big geographical disparities. In the north, those numbers top 4,000. In London, it's estimated to be as low as 24. Now, it's important to say that this is a modelled, not an exact number, and it sits within a range. In fact, the government scientific advisory group think that that number of 24 in London is misleadingly low. They estimate that yesterday alone there could have been roughly 1,000 new infections in London. But, nevertheless, this still tells us that London is currently faring reasonably well, and it suggests that different regions might be at different stages in their outbreaks. It's a similar picture when you look at the pace at which infections are falling. While it's taking roughly two weeks in the northeastern Yorkshire for that infection rate to half, it's taking just 10 days in the southeast and roughly four in London. Now, some scientists think that this margin of error, when you break it down regionally, is high, but it could still provide an argument that lockdown should be eased at different times in different regions. However, that looks a little unlikely when you drill down to local authority level. Let's take the Northwest as an example. Barrow and Inverness there had 825 deaths per 100,000. That's the highest in the country, while places like Eden had only 178. The Cambridge scientists also gave us a fascinating insight into how the disease might have been spreading in different age brackets. They think that 18% of 5 to 14-year-olds may have already had the disease, but over here, only 3% of the over 75s. That matters because it shows that the shielding of older people might have been working. Now, we know that, sadly, fatality rates are much higher amongst the elderly. Both regional and demographic differences could play into policy in the coming weeks.